Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week. And yeah, as you know, I didn't do a weekly overview last week on YouTube since uh, we were um, in Berlin with uh, some of my uh, traders in our trading room. We had an amazing weekend with lots of beer talks, trading talks and uh, great moments. So um, yeah, we are back on track and as usual, I will go guide you through the ideas for next week. So see you there. Welcome back guys. Well, as usual, do not forget to hit that like button if you like these videos and of course don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. We will start with uh, gold which um, broke actually last week above this uh, trend line here that been tested uh, many times. So we had the breakout and when that happened we were looking to see if we're gonna get some kind of correction and continuation from that area well uh, that didn't happen as you see thursday and, and friday was a very strong momentum to the downside on gold um, and um, we are about to test this uh, major uh, bullish trend line we have here that been tested also uh, many times in the past so this is going to be our last line of defense on gold and um, yeah as we ended the week seems like it was very very heavy so if uh, next week we get some kind of slow consolidation as we had here once again one could expect another leg to the downside maybe to retest these lows down here which gonna be the likely the last line of defense for um for the bulls on this market yeah so uh, there is still possibility that you see gold uh, continuing some more to the downside if we get slow correction there is a possibility for that leg to the downside to happen um, for a bullish continuation we want to see if we reach this level and we see some strong momentum to the upside as we had here then we want to see a slow correction happening to see if we're gonna get some kind of break to the upside some kind of bullish flag to trade it yeah so don't just jump on um, chasing the market uh, you see if you just uh, try to chase this candle somewhere on the breakout here uh, you would be taken out right now we've got this move to then drop all the way down wait for those corrections to happen you had uh, many examples here so you have the strong dip you get the correction to then trade it to the downside yeah so this kind of uh, patterns you want to see but uh, the opposite something like we had here then a nice correction to then give you the next leg to the upside so look for something similar to this if you want to buy uh, gold and that need to be happening above this uh, trend line yeah short term there is a pos possibility for more downside though uh, UUSD same as well here um, after the retest of this uh, the top of this channel as you see we, we still uh, bearish on uh, euro USD there is just lower lows and lower highs all the way so we are still inside this bearish channel the look of it seems like we may continue dip lower to test this last uh, support level here where I'm expecting if we reach that for a possible leg to the upside to happen let's not forget that this area here is a key support and that if got broken strongly then that will open the door for more downside on euro will that happen next week i'm not sure of that but what seems possible here that this market may continue uh, to the downside to uh, 
uh, test this monthly S1 area, this previous uh, support level here, uh, very, very uh, possible scenario. So as far as we are below this structure, it is a possible sell area here. Uh, this high is uh, a possible sell level. And the reason I'm saying that is this and this, as you see, it's been acting as nice support level here and here and here and now it got break and retested and there is possibility for continuation so look for that retest of this level uh, up here uh, for a possible sell or if you get something like we had here some kind of slow correction to then the next leg to the downside when we reach this level it's time to take profit and think of possible bounce to the upside on the euro sterling very heavy as well many bearish days as you see a uh, total collapse here after this uh, break to the upside this last burst momentum we start pushing lower we broke this low we broke this low we broke this low as well and uh, we testing this area right now so not much on the way as a structure wise here uh, looking left as you see we still have this area right now as a possible market objective to reach that level but i i mean <laughs> depends on if you are already short of okay move your stop start moving your stop losses following this move but i would not go short here uh, in my opinion this is a an extended move now rsi is at the oversold as well um, and it could be time for uh, some correction yeah so i'm waiting on this to see next week what will happen is it going to do something like this if that that happened a slow correction happened then there is a possibility for that next leg to the downside to come for our time frame same scenario we if if we see something like this happening again you see this kind of corrections going on here then you could consider one more leg to the downside otherwise we are reached we reach it monthly r2 uh, sorry monthly s2 we reach it some kind of structures here as you see there is a lot of structures in this area i would be uh, careful shorting with uh, such a very extended move here so uh, depends on how things goes if uh, to go long here you want to see a strong break above back above this level and then to look for slow correction to go back up toward this possible market objective before maybe the next leg to the downside so um I'm not interested in a sell after uh, it's gonna feel like chasing the market. If you got some of this, then be happy with that. If you're still in the trade, start uh, trailing your stop loss. Um, will this keep moving to the downside without any correction? Well, that is possible, yeah, that is possible. But um, we need at least to see something like this to then try to short it once again, especially if that uh, correction happened um, like as i said if we see that happening and we halt here at this level at this area then there is a possibility for that next leg to the downside um, usd jeppy also uh, had a nice rally to the downside but now we are in some kind of consolidation or a correction well since this market managed to break back above this level this support area here managed to hold and close on the daily time frame above the monthly s2 there is now a possibility that we keep pushing toward uh, this gap here to close it before maybe the next leg to the downside so i'm interesting of buys uh, here since we had already this uh, strong push to the downside rsi was at the extremely oversold and now dipping uh, sorry moving higher so the rsi still have some room to oscillate back toward the uh, overbought area uh, we had um, nice inside bar that now that uh, trade got confirmed closed above that inside bar closed above this uh, morning star here so um 
and been uh, bullish uh, candles. So um, the main idea here, if we keep holding above this level, is to look for the next move to the upside. As far as we keep getting those higher lows and higher highs, uh, you could trade this. There is not strong momentum though. Uh, I would love to see something like this happening, but to the upside. But what we've got so far is these deeper, uh, deep um, corrections every time. So they are not fun when you just go long somewhere like here, the market reached that level and go back almost to your entry. So uh, you need to have um, a lot of um, good mindset to keep uh, being in those trades. Yeah. So bullish, nice rounded bottom. As far as we don't have a break below previous low, it is still a possible buy the dips market and we will see how far it will get us. I still think there is a possibility that we close this gap. Uh, USD chief looking for sells here. We had a nice impulse to the downside last week, all week been a consolidation, a correction. Where the market tested here is where um, uh, we should uh, really look for cells looking left. We reach it back to these areas here and here. So we know that this area is a nice, uh, even here as well as you see, it is a nice resistance area. And uh, last week we just reached it that level. Yeah. So um, I'm looking for cells here only on this market. We uh, broke uh, this trend now. We had this trend that got broken as well. We trading below the 200 moving average on the four hour. We tested the 38.2 um, and we tested the monthly pivot point and this previous structure here all the way. So very interesting level here. Look to sell uh, in this area. Start looking for your sell signals here. To be more sure, you want to see a break below uh, this previous low, something like this to happen to then look for the continuation on this market. Yeah, so sell from this area on this uh, uh, on the USD chief. Uh, USD cat, nothing new, still inside this range. It been uh, heaven for day traders, hell for longer term traders because it is not going anywhere. We keep uh, bouncing from the top to the bottom, top, bottom the whole time. And uh, yeah, actually, if we go and look on the weekly time frame and the daily time frame, as you see here, we've been inside this area for a long, long time. We have some wicks higher here, but actually the bodies of these candles, look how close they are to each other every time you have a close or an open. So uh, it's not going anywhere, lost momentum uh, since uh, this here. Uh, this break out here to here since that time. How many weeks is that? Uh, 10 weeks and this market did move like 253 pips only. So what happened here? We managed to break a little bit higher, but really we do not have no one weekly close above this high. So it seems like this high is the key level on this market. Every time we try, then we close lower than that. On the daily time frame, very, very choppy here, as you see, and uh, it is like uh, tradable only on the one hour and the four hour. And all you need to do is keep uh, trading uh, these levels by the lows and sell the highs. It seems like we had some kind of higher uh, range here on the one hour, as you see, also gave some some bounces, but really nothing's going on here. You should keep playing the same scenario until you have a breakout. The longer term view on this market, in my opinion, is to the downside, something like what happened here impulse very complex correction another impulse and now we are having another very complex complex uh, correction as you see here 
we changing behavior everything is going very very slowly and it seems like we losing steam and it may dip i'm only interested uh to trade the downside to try and catch this whole move uh, hopefully one of these uh, will happen once again on this market so only sells and uh, you need to be careful uh, to not get taken out by these so wait if you really want to uh, take the longer term trade you want to see a break below this trend line to then have a lot of uh, potential to the downside short term play the range and if we break this play it toward the trend line because here you're going to have another set of support that may give you one more bounce to the upside as well yeah so keep selling those highs that is the main idea keep selling those highs because if this goes and break the bigger uh, corrections you will be in a major trend uh, sorry in a major trade and possibly downtrend Aussie USD also uh, heavy and pushing lower uh, we have the or we had the election Sydney it is what time is it yeah it's Sunday 2 a.m. already so the election uh, is done and they're counting uh, the votes and it seems like um, the expected did not happen in that election so uh, uh, probably the market was pricing in um, a different outcome of the election here on this move and uh, uh, there is a possibility for some gaps you never know you maybe see it moving very strongly to the downside on the open or you see a gap to the upside who knows but i'm not uh, very very good in aussie uh, political situation what i see on the chart is this low down here is the last line of defense before we start thinking about this levels down here so this market is about to test a key level as you see down here uh, just below uh, monthly s2 here this area gonna be very very interesting so let's see how the open will be uh, same here if you're short already good for you keep trailing your stop loss because i'm not interesting in shorting anymore we are very close uh, to a possible support level uh, seems like the move is very extended now rsi at the extreme overbought on all time frames here you have the daily on the weekly as well and the four hour been oversold for a while now so i'm more interesting for the upside here and uh, looking for uh, a break of this uh, possible uh, channel if that break happens uh, then i'm interested to look for uh, upside move on this market at least a retest to this level up here could be a possible scenario toward this area yeah so that is what interesting me here i want to see a strong break a slow correction to then target this area up here okay so look i'm only interested to buy this market but uh, still no signs of that new zealand usd same case here uh, we broke a key level here so uh, structure is clearly broken uh, we broke previous low as well last week and it looks very heavy um, it closed at this structure level and uh, still uh, could go all the way down to this area yeah uh, but the move is almost done right now and um, i'm thinking uh, some kind of correction correction could happen here now and uh, if we look at the trend it's very steep and strong move to the downside yeah this could need some uh, some correction in any case if you want to sell this market you need to wait for at least a correction toward this area and start looking if you see any bearish evidence for that continuation otherwise you may start having some deeper correction to the upside before the next move yeah so uh, not interested in sales here maybe here in this area i'm more interested to see if we're gonna get uh, a longer term buy on this market maybe after the retest of this level that may happen as well and if we look at the uh, bigger picture you see that this level here gonna be a very very interesting structure low 
uh, if tested yeah and the last one is New Zealand CAD as you see we broken this structure here I've been telling you guys for a long time if this get broken start looking for a downside and it been going down but if we look on the lower time frame uh, it is very very sneaky you know very small bodied candle so there was no conviction behind the move this was a nice conviction move but all these are like very small body candles and they do not make you um, sure about the move yeah uh, so um, this market uh, moving nicely here there is plenty of room to the downside as you see there is nothing on the way here until we uh, start reaching this kind of support area and um, yeah it may keep uh, dipping to the downside the question is will it give us some kind of correction uh, back up toward this level to then sell it yeah if that is the case you could start looking to sell it here or maybe here up here at this level uh, but we need to have that correction as for now we do not have nice correction just shallow ones uh, like this so if you get another one on the lower time frame you could try to buy it but for a better risk to reward you want uh, that deeper correction to happen yes yeah? slowly 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 and then a break to then sell it down so downside but look for correction before selling this market so uh, yeah that was it uh, for today guys thanks a lot and uh, yeah maybe see you next week for those of you who are still thinking about the uh, joining our my course there is still a possibility to do so i still have some uh, uh, seats left and you can still get the offer uh, 200 dollars off if you use the coupon code facebook so just go to www.pa-fx.com and you have all the information you need over there. Bye-bye, see you next week.